Welcome back to the Morning Sip. And joining us now is Thomas Hudson, the president of Jackson State University. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Well, we have a big weekend with the W.C. Gordon Classic returning. Tell us, what do you expect community turnout will be? Uh, I think it'll be great. I think we'll have a large, uh, we have one of the largest fan bases uh, in our division. I think we'll have a great turnout. The pre-sales have been great. So we're looking forward to a really big crowd this Saturday. And, and for the state of Mississippi, you got a, another team that's in the state of Mississippi playing this game in Delta State. Just talk about for the city of Jackson, for the state of Mississippi, just the anticipation and then also just the excitement of, you know, what has become of this season. Well, we're, we're excited to host Delta State, uh, one of our in-state rivals. I believe this is the third time we've played them. Uh, always great when you're hosting another school from in-state. An exciting way to start our home opener. As you know, there's a lot of excitement surrounding Jackson State football. Uh, the tradition, what we've been in the past, and what we are today, it's just been a perfect marriage, and we're really excited about this home opener. Yeah, you just touched on the tradition. Now, you're from Jackson. Yes. You went to school here, mm -hmm. grew up here. Just how big is... Jackson State football, the home opener, this whole weekend for your hometown? Oh, it's been great. You know, I tell people, I don't want to age myself, but I've been going to games mm -hmm. here since 1985, uh, since I was a kid. And it's special each and every time you step inside this stadium. Uh, it's special. Anyone who grew up in Jackson State knows the importance and just the prestige of JSU football. So, one year into the Coach Prime era, mm -hmm. What would you say the changes you're seeing, even from a funding standpoint? It's, it's been great. You know, the media attention, uh, just the overall looks at the university. People who didn't know as much about Jackson State may have heard of us, but now giving us a second look. It's led to a lot of great opportunities, and not just for athletics, but for the university as a whole. So very excited about his being here. He's been a wonderful ambassador for the university, and it's just been a really uh, great marriage, a really great collaboration. I'm going to have you think back <laughs> to the end of the Jackson State season in 2019. Uh -huh. Did you ever think you were going to be right here, right now, with everything that's kind of going on? No. Uh, that's probably the best answer I can give you. <laughs> you, just, you just never know uh, what may happen. But again, uh, excited to be in this seat, excited to be in this position, uh, to be a representative and to lead this great university. I'm going to ask you to put on your football analyst hat <laughs> for a second. What, what do you think of the team through the first three games? Uh, my take is they played a tough schedule, mm -hmm. beat Florida A&M, yes. almost beat an FBS team last week, two and one. Yes. What's your take? Two and one, uh, doing really well. Awesome defense. We have a great quarterback. Uh, really, just a really good, complete team. Uh, expect us to get better over the course of the year, but very happy with the start for the team so far this year. Well, we are so excited to be a part of mm -hmm. this this uh, community and a part of Jackson State this morning. Yes. And we're looking forward to a great game. Thank yeah. you so much for thank being so with much. us this morning. Yes, thank you so much for thank having you. me. Yeah, thank thank you. you so much. And we'll be right back.